Welcome back to my channel guys. Today I'm bringing something just a little different. I do this from time to time, but today I'm bringing you a health and wellness video. Um, and the focus is colonoscopies. If you're within the age or approaching the ages 40 to 45 and beyond and have not ever had a colonoscopy, then this video is for you. Guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me over there on Instagram where I'm still feeding you more information that might not be displayed over here on YouTube. So guys, make sure you follow me over there on Instagram. So let's get ready to hop into this colonoscopy video where I'm going to take you guys along with me to have my very first one along with deposit a little bit more information into you to let you know the importance of getting a colonoscopy. Let's go. Now, some of the reasons why you may be scheduled for colonoscopy prior to the age of 40 might be from having blood in the stool, uh, long-term belly pain, uh, excessive diarrhea, or sudden weight loss. They would actually want to get in there and figure out if there is something going on. Once again, colon cancer can definitely be silent and not give you any symptoms at all. So that's some of the main reasons why it's important to get screened for it uh, between the ages of 40 and 45 if you're not experiencing any of those uh, issues. Colon cancer is silent but deadly. And we want to make sure that we are getting screened. So make sure you know your family history now, as far as the PrEP is concerned, there's two options currently being explored as far as getting cleaned out, getting prepared for the actual colonoscopy. One is New Lightly, that's kind of like a gallon of water with a mixture um, that your uh, prescription that your doctor will give you that you'll have to get filled at the pharmacy or you could get 24 tablets. And that's the option I chose because I'm not a drinker. I don't think I can hold that. And I've seen patients and worked with patients that have experienced extreme difficulty in getting that, that liquid down. Um, the option I chose is called SuTab. And guys, this is it right here. Um, hopefully your physician can offer you SuTab. It's a prescription and it comes fully with all the instructions listed on the back what you'll need to do um, most of the time the sue tab is not covered by your insurance so i didn't even have them to run it through my insurance what i did do was my doctor provided me a discount coupon for the sue tab and what it does uh, when i got to the pharmacy what they were able to do was type in those numbers Tell them you want them to type in this information instead of your insurance information. It ran me $40, but it's worth it to me if I know I can't tolerate drinking that liquid and then they got it flavored and you got to drink like a gallon of it. Not sure if I could uh, do that very well, but again, the SuTab coupon is here and available. I will um, list all this information down in the cards so you can copy it in the event you're interested in taking the tablets versus the liquid. And again, guys, it's called SuTab, and your pharmacy is very familiar with it. Um, again, whenever you're ready to or getting prepared to go for your colonoscopy, what I would do with these pills, guys, on the day before, which is today at 6 p.m., what I'll be doing is taking 12 of these pills, the SuTab pills. And I take those 12 pills with 16 ounces of water, uh, just sipping it, getting it down and done around 20 minutes or so. And then after which, seven hours prior to the actual procedure, I'll do the same thing and take the other 12 pills. And the pills are not very big. And I will show you guys what it looked like on the inside. Opening it up. Got your information packet. They actually even give you a cup that shows how much liquid you should be drinking in it. And it says 16 fluid ounces. And then it gives you, also it gives you the two SuTab tablets, a bottle, a bottle of pills that you'll take. I'm gonna open one so you can actually see Seal. I always make sure your medications are sealed before you start to take them. 
and then I'm gonna show you it's about the size of an ibuprofen 800 okay so you'll have to take 12 of these just to show you or it's about the size of a mucinex so um, they are not tiny pills but I think you can get it down in comparison to that huge gallon in which I'll post a picture um, beside me to show you the gallon jug what you would normally have to consume okay so that is the prep 12 pills 6 p.m. day before the procedure and then 12 more pills seven hours before the actual procedure uh, taken with 16 ounces of water now they will give you an information packet where you will have to fill out um, some information as such as your history uh, bring a copy of your insurance card and if you're fully vaccinated they would like for you to bring a copy of your vaccination card just to keep everyone safe but again, guys, your information packet will have all the information you need. It will let you also know uh, things that you should avoid four days prior to your procedure, such as popcorn, potato chips, um, seeded fruits and vegetables, things like that, because sometimes they could get stuck in your colon and they really want your colon clean as they are doing their exploration, okay? Now, how is the exploration done? I'm glad you asked. I'm going to tell you what they do they insert an instrument into your colon they explore your large intestines and your rectum looking for colon polyps any abnormalities that might be growing gross things like that that might be growing in your digestive tract and they even have an instrument where they can remove those polyps while they are already in there and they can send those off for biopsies just to make sure cancer has not been developing in your digestive tract. It's really, really important to get your colon cleaned out really good. Don't drink or eat any purple or red items um, about four days prior to your procedure because sometimes that can uh, give them a false representation of your digestive tract. So you want to make sure it's good and clean. You follow all the steps your provider has given you. The instrument that they're actually using have a light at the end and what it does it records images and video through your digestive tract so your provider can actually see what's going on inside of your body. That is why it is important to get your digestive tract cleaned out so they will have no interruptions of their view. You will be sedated during this time so make sure um, my doctor advised me to make sure I have nothing else to eat or drink four hours prior to the procedure so it's um, important that you schedule your colonoscopy at a time where you can abide by some of the restrictions so don't schedule it at 5 p.m. and you know you're not good at abstaining from food or drink or something like that because you'll be hungry and then you don't want to mess up your procedure in time and then some offices even charge you a hundred and seventy five dollar fee um, if you have to cancel within a certain amount of time the procedure normally takes around two hours and you will need someone to drive you and stay there with you as they will not let you uh, be there alone when I cut the film I'll show you where I'm taking my first dose of those 12 appeals and then we'll cut to the second time where I'm taking my second dose of the 12 pills and then uh, as much footage as I can get during the procedure I will do that so guys stay tuned uh, like comment and subscribe I hope this information is helpful and help encourage you to make sure you are taking care of yourself and making sure all those preventative services um, have been implement it in your health care. So stay tuned. Oh, okay. Cause they say a lot of times yeah. people people opt not to uh, take the pills because the insurance uh, don't cover it and you have to pay forty dollars for it. And I was like, oh shit, I'll pay forty dollars versus drinking that yeah, I don't, uh, I don't care. I told you that. I don't care if it's $300. Right. This year, I'm taking a pill. I think what I told you that I don't know what I'm doing. This is a long time.
12 down, 12 to go. Okay guys, this is the morning of the actual colonoscopy and um, my night was okay. I had to get up about two or three times, um, hence a couple of the videos I put in. Uh, I got nauseous one time. That was during the second round of uh, the 12 pills that I had to take. Got the pills down okay, but a little bit later, um, that's when I got nauseous. Um, I didn't throw the pills up, but I d did heave a little bit, and um, that was about it. So I just uh, sat up in the bed so everything can go down and rest uh, easily. And then I took my water like I supposed to an hour after and then 30 minutes after that. So uh, we're getting ready shortly to actually go to the facility where I'm actually having the procedure so make sure you wear something very loose um, easy to get in into and easy to get out of um, just so you won't slow down the process so stay tuned okay friends this is the outfit I'm choosing to wear today a long flowy maxi dress something real easy to get in and out of and some <clears throat> some flip-flops to slide in and out of as well. And I'm going to take me an extra pair of socks in the event they are out of the non-slips um, socks that they'll give you at the hospital anyway. So again, guys, light, cozy, comfortable, um, as I mentioned before.
Okay guys, I'm all done. Oops. They did find some polyps, but I will show you all of that once I get out of here. So let me get dressed so I can go. Okay. I'm trying to inform my friends on how easy it was to actually get. Oh, I didn't even record. <laughs> Am I? Do you mind? No, honey, I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Okay. And that's him pulling there up he there. Is. Yeah. He should All be good and hungry. Procedure. Yeah. It's time for breakfast. Shannon, they will roll you out. Yes, we will. Make right. sure you get home safe, sweetheart. All right, thank you, baby. You're I appreciate welcome. you. You have a good day, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, guys. Um, I am getting ready to go home. Um, Colonoscopy is over. They did find four polyps. It's important to get those polyps removed. One was eight millimeters. That's the only one that caused concern for him. And um, he said due to the fact that that one was um, so pronounced, it was sticking up like a thumb. Um, he was able to remove all of them um, at that time. So, um, due to the fact that he did find that one that was a little uh, mature, he did recommend that I return back in five years for a repeat colonoscopy. So, um, and that's just what I'll do. So, thanks for hanging in there with me. Um, the rest of my evening will consist of rest, relaxation, food, no alcohol, no driving. So, guys, I hope this encouraged you to hop out there, get your colonoscopy. One, if you're over the age of 45 and over. And um, two, if you are having bouts of loose stools, um, history of abdominal pain, uh, bleeding in your, um, when you use the restroom, um, and if you have a family history, you may want to get it prior to um, the age 45. Uh, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, thank you for tuning in with me. I'll check you later. Bye.